future belongs to those who can produce a highly skilled workforce that is incredibly flexible, creative, and innovative at the same time and uses the most efficient means possible to create future manufacturing. What's happening out here at Goodwin College, in the private sector, and even on behalf of labor with the IAM, you know, they were looking for a means to come up with a more credentialed workforce. And so we're able to unite the Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology, which has the lasers, which has the machinery, uh, with an academic approach uh, that Goodwin College has, very hands-on and adaptable to what manufacturers of today are going to need, and then enlist the support of a major company like United Technology, but specifically uh, Pratt & Whitney, uh, who's very deeply involved in the aerospace business, who works with the IAM on a regular basis, that could stand to gain from the benefits of the uh, Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology, that can all be brought together to become a credentialed workforce, a workforce for the future, right here at Goodwin College. The assumption was about 15 years ago that manufacturing was dead in the United States and dead in Connecticut, and all the jobs that were left were going overseas. And so everyone told their kids, that's not a really good field to go into. And suddenly, in a very quiet way, there are 22,000 jobs in manufacturing, a new manufacturing, a high-tech manufacturing in the state of Connecticut. Goodwin College actually is here very clearly to find work for our students. You can't find work for students unless you know what it is the job market is asking for. The entire program has to be based around the needs of our employers. I went to Goodwin College and met with Mark and the team and we got into this manufacturing advisory council. I felt it was a different way of doing things. They're a breed above. They definitely uh, listen. You know, they have exit strategies where they're talking to their students about where they're going to work. There's a, a large exodus going to be in the next 10 years of very qualified people um, who will be retiring. So we have uh, a big gap to fill. Goodwin is actually going to be certifying their people, which is very special. And, you know, we've invited them to bring in other people over here that we can give them a walkthrough to show them really what our needs are and what our expectations are. So it's, it's really got to be a, a partnership between Goodwin College and the supply base to develop these people and the people we need for our future. The thing that sets Goodwin College apart is that they have come out to industry and they've asked what the requirements are. It's much easier to train to a job or to teach to a job as opposed to um, create a job after you've been trained. So uh, I think it's, it's vital that the uh, folks like Goodwin College and, and the educational community um, find out what jobs are available in their area, in their community, and then uh, train workers accordingly to what's available. We're extremely excited about the partnership with Goodwin College. Their curriculum and their focus for their education is really right on par for what we're looking for out of, out of our employees. They have taken the time to understand what our needs are as a business and then been able to incorporate that into their uh, curriculum so that when we're looking for a skilled workforce that, that they have that on top for us. If you draw a hundred mile radius from where I'm standing right now, there are literally thousands of companies that do precision machining and special processing. It's imperative that we keep that expertise in this radius. It's not our divine destiny to be here. So it's imperative that each and every company work with academia, as we're talking about today, to sustain these skills and grow this industry right here in this region. The workforce that we're going to look for, they need to be skilled. I mean, you're going to compete with the rest of the world, not just the different states in the U.S. And the one that's going to win is the one with the best people. The moment is now. The time to strike is now in this industry. It never seen before uplift in the civil aerospace. And the need to gain that market share and keep it in Connecticut or in the U.S. And it doesn't matter if it's a, it's a GKN company or if it's a Goodwin College. You need to strike when the iron is hot. We have to make sure that we're in enhancing the workforce in a way that they are both academically uh, achieving the goals that are going to be needed to compete in a global economy, but also have the basic skill sets. And I'm not just talking about reading, writing, and arithmetic, but the actual 
applications that come from trades. And so it's not your trade union of your father's past either. It's how we combine that science, technology, innovation, and the creativity that comes from a human being. That's what's encapsulized here at Goodwin College. That's what this collaboration is all about. Uh, long overdue, and the more kind of relationships that we can forge like this, where we see the private sector, the labor sector, governmental sector, all pulling together, utilizing what's best in each is what it's all about.